Hey everyone, the Archon Archetype class is actually real. Here we're going to show it off, and a big shout out to Zeph on YouTube for showing it. I'm joined with 2-6 because we're about to go through our raw reactions of this. We're going to see the armor set, which we can kind of already see here, as well as all of the skills and see it in action. Basically, Zeph here on YouTube has modified a save to be able to have the archetype for himself, so it still hasn't been figured out exactly how you get it. We've been trying a bunch of things, 2-6, haven't we? And we haven't had any luck yet, but we've got a few more things to try out that we're hopeful that might work. Yeah, definitely. I don't know how I feel about someone modifying it and kind of spoiling it in a way, but uh, I kind of like happy that it's actually been confirmed because I don't want to, I don't want to be chasing like a red herring over like a class or anything like that. So it's nice to see mm -hmm. that it's actually real and uh, it's in-game. It, it gets me more excited to go chase uh, it. You know, it's been so much, so many hours of trying different things that at a certain point you wonder if it is in the game. Well, like you say <laughs> here, it definitely is. And I just want to know exactly what it does and then we'll go back to our, to the grind of trying to figure out how we actually get it to ourselves. But let's let, let's let the video play. We can already see the armor set, which if you ask me, it looks like it's to do with the labyrinth, right? <laughs> This is very Destiny. This literally looks like the Warlock out of Destiny. And I like how like some of the classes in general seem like they're themed on other games as well. Like mm. the fact that they, you, you know how insane it is that there's secret classes, they put content in it that other players will never ever actually find or discover. Um, I think that's like the coolest thing. Shout out to Gunfire Games for like doing that. I know the whole game's about discovery, but this is just like another Whoa. level. A dome. A You're totally right. The fact that there are hidden classes is just such an awesome thing. It's obviously not in English here, but we do have translations. And I will say, I actually really like the armor style, like you say. It, it does kind of have a Destiny vibe to it. And it's got, like, lightning all over it, and he just did some big blue dome ability. What, else, no, has he, what else has he got for it? Notice, well. Hold on, notice he's got the Labyrinth Staff on his back. Is it a coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> What is that? that? This is literally like Destiny, because that second ability, I swear they do that in Destiny, and it gives you, like, extra uh, bullet speed or something. I don't know. Mm. Something along those lines. That also had this the so red, cool. like, glitchiness to it, which, you know, there's that red labyrinth door that no one's figured out how to open. That's where everyone thinks that this class is, right? Mm. It, it's definitely the Lamb stuff. Like, it's got... It's, it's got to be. <laughs> I just want to know how to get it. I've tried so many different... Oh, it's, it is the Destiny <laughs> Warlock. It's the Destiny <laughs> Warlock, 100%. This is it. This is like the coolest looking... It's got a uh, What? No. Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm nah. going to need this. He's, he's like... Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Bro, can get out of here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, uh, let me just uh, go back real, real quick. All right. Here we go. So, I just want to quickly talk about that electric ability. If we just replay that bit real quick, right? So, that actually, that was an actual insane ability. I, I, if you think about all of the skills that all the classes have, they are all satisfying and they all do something nice. But that this straight up looks like an ultimate. Yeah, it looks like an ultimate, which is insane, right? I don't. It doesn't feel fair compared to the other ones. The other ones just seem like abilities. This is an actual. Alt. It doesn't last too long, so maybe that's where like the balancing comes in there. But true, it's cool. I understand why we haven't found this class now. I've under like because this looks spicy. So it's got it's got like lightning. It's got some AOE thing. It's got teleports. I don't know how I feel about that. It makes it like <laughs> you know you got the gunslinger <laughs> who like fires off six shots that auto target. <laughs> Meanwhile, the archon over here is is shooting out freaking massive AOE lightning and teleport dashing all over the place. That is really cool. That must be the level 10 ability, right? Yep. So should we go through, let's go through the translations of what these skills actually do real quick. So we go back to the dome that we saw at the very beginning. So this dome is basically a protective dome that will slow enemies and projectiles that go inside of it and allies get damage reduction. When they're in it as well so let's just see him cast that's pretty like, decent boom. that's like very good like utility there especially i wonder if it works on bosses some things don't work on bosses but still pretty decent if it gives you is it a, a speed buff or a defensive buff that it gives you uh a damage reduction buff that slows enemies and projectiles 
That's cool. So Very you stand cool. in it, you're a bit safer. But the next skill that he's about to do creates an unstable zone that grants allies 15% increased to all damage dealt, 25% mod generation, and increases damage to allies. Increases the damage allies take by 15%. Whoa! Oh, a bit spicy there. <laughs> oh. I don't know about that one. <laughs> so, so that's basically, you deal more damage, you generate your mods faster, but you take more damage. It's a bit of a trade-off. That's why it's all red, right? It looks a little dangerous. Yes. How much and is the damage increase that you're getting? Uh, 15% to all damage, though. But you that's also take 15% more. Oh, that's a lot. I, I can take that trade. Off. I can take that trade. And then for the final skill, you unleash the powers of the labyrinth to empower you with new abilities. The duration is reduced when special abilities are used. Oh, so every time you do an ability... So, oh, it's a 30-second buff. You can see at the bottom here under the health bar. Yeah. And each time he casts, it chonks it down, look. That's really interesting. So we just go back again. So what... So you basically have fire tendrils of lightning that deal shock damage per second, or you have an aimed energy shield that deals shock damage per second and reduces damage taken by allies by 50%. That's the big circle one that he's doing now. Yep. And then you have the evasive dash that also deals damage to enemies within three meters of you. So it's all about, it's all about dealing damage. It's all about taking less damage. And obviously it's all shock themed. Uh, and I don't think we actually got to see each of the perks, so we're not too sure on what the perks actually do. But the Archon, yeah, but, the Archon is yeah. in the game. It's actually in. I was losing hope. It's in the game. It's, it's talking. Going back to the last skill though, that is a hundred and twenty second like cooldown. So it's interesting to see like how they balance it with like the more abilities they use, the shorter it's actually going to be, and then you're just going to be waiting for another ninety seconds for it to basically come up. So yeah, definitely. I really like the armor set as well. I want this. Is this? I wonder if you get this with the class, or if you have to find this. Maybe it's part of the puzzle of finding the class. Like I have no idea. But I do really like the look of it. It obviously has the lightning blueiness to it, so it's it's it does look like the class armor as well. That's pretty cool. Well, we do actually have a couple ideas of how of how we might be able to open that door and get this, but we're gonna have to try it out and see if it works first. We don't want to waste anyone else's time, but we put in. <laughs> We've tried a lot of different things, haven't we, these things? Yeah, definitely. We've been sitting there at that door trying to open it. But uh, we'll see. we still got ideas. we still got ideas. Yeah, well, big shout out to Zeph here for posting this. And uh, again, he hasn't. Sh he doesn't know how you get it. It is just modified, so everyone is still on the hunt. But guys, we're going to have more Remnant 2 guides and stuff coming your way soon, so stay tuned for that. And the two videos on screen now, we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. Of course, you don't have to watch them, but if you did find this video interesting or helpful, you should probably check these ones out too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.